Hello, how you doing? This is Shane from Shane's Reviews and I hope you are having a great day today. This will probably be the last time that we talk about the door side books. Uh, <laughs> and I've got my reasons for it. First thing is, it was narrated by Kevin T. Collins um, and of course it was wrote by Gordon R. Dixon. And the reason why I'm saying this is probably going to be the last one is the production in this was just at, at points it was good, but I don't know how they managed to do this. So to my editor, uh, if you're looking at the same script I am, there's really something weird here at page 39. It jumps back to page 11 for like 30 more pages. So just I'm skipping that and I'm starting again at page 68. My question is, is if somebody listened to that before they published it, how did a note to an editor get left in? Because I very seriously doubt, I very seriously doubt the gentleman that wrote this in the 70s uh, put that in his script. There's a few things that happen like that throughout the book and it, it is such a crash. So I, I really, that was one thing, but it wasn't enough to make me go, eh, I don't want to really spend any more of my time reading these. The Door Size series, it's one of those things where it's kind of a one trick pony and it's telling the universe from book to book to book. It's filling out the universe from book to book to book. And it it would be, I think, okay to do that if you had at least one character that like held everything together. But I've kind of gotten to the point now where I've been introduced to so many different concepts from so many different places and so many different times across this universe. I just don't care anymore. It's kind of tough to say that because I think that this could be a very enjoyable thing, but on the same token, it's something that I just don't think that I can recommend because typically whenever I get into a series or I find a series that's space and sci-fi related, uh, there is that one commonality. Uh, there is either a character that moves from book to book or there is uh, some kind of a concept that stays true from book to book to book. And that's the thing that usually keeps me going is to see how that overarching story is going to go. Now, this guy is either the absolute, the king of inner monologues slash just having all kinds of just thoughts spewed out on paper. But there's so many characters at this point that he's introduced us to. And the problem I have with this is that these characters have the same voice. They have the same type of speech. They have the same way of doing things. And it's like they've just renamed the character for a different book, but say it's a different person altogether and make them do just a couple of little things differently than the other ones would have to begin with. And I just, I, it's lackluster to me at this point. And I don't want to say this in a way that it makes it seem like I'm absolutely just dogging the books because there's there's a market for it, for sure. There, there's some people that would absolutely love this kind of a thing. Me, I'm not one of them. Even on some of the, the sci-fi series that I've read in the past that were just blah, like whenever um, B.B. Larson, he had a series that started out with The Swarm, right? And that that was a very long series. And then there was another series that popped up uh, that was kind of like it, but I really just kind of was like, really? Because it seemed like he was trying to say it was like the main character's kid, but they were acting the exact same as the main character in the previous series did. Now, sometimes it takes a little while for a author whenever they switch over to a new project to get the cobwebs out and get those learned patterns out and start to do things that are unique. It's just that this, there's not enough holding everything together is my, my problem. Doesn't mean it's your problem. And if you have read these books, I'm curious, tell me what you think. Uh, down there, you know what to do in the comment section that they keep making harder and harder to find. But let me know what you think about this series if you've read it. Furthermore, the question of the week should be something to the lines of, is there a book series that you read that was like the Dorsai where you have one book that sets up something, another book that sets up something, another book that sets up something, and it all looks interconnected, but you just can't find that vibe. You can't find the, the, the place where the plane, where everything kind of gels together. I know that I know that the gentleman has passed at this point, but it's one of those things I wish that 
he had kind of gotten off the pot a little bit sooner or you know got to the point a little bit sooner because I've got a feeling that there is probably a point where all this stuff comes together but I don't know if I'm gonna be patient enough and I don't know if I'm gonna pick up another one of them I really don't I don't I don't see it happening I've spent so much time with exposition that I'm starting to wonder if there's going to be anything that really does come together. Uh, and this book, it was it was almost poorly done too. And the way that the characters were, the stories of the characters, I just really did not dig on it at all. I hate to say it this way, but it's probably because he was trying to stri I think he was trying to write a strong female lead, but didn't know how to go about it. I really think that might have been what it was because this this poor person that was in here, I. It could have been done so, so differently. So is it worth your time, efforts, and energies? I don't think so. I really don't. I don't see it. I don't I don't think in good conscience I could say, hey, go out and get this book. So I'm not going to. And um, I might check out the next one just to see if it continues in this kind of a way. And if it does, uh, that'll be the last that you hear about it on this channel for sure. <laughs> I did enjoy the first couple books, but since then, not so much. Anyway, the long and the short is, it's it's an interesting day, it's a rainy day. Uh, did not enjoy that book, and so I'm going to ask you fine people, what should I look at next whenever it comes to reviews? What do you think I should look into? And this isn't like just a, an average ask. What books or what things should I look at to review next? It's not that I'm out of ideas. There's plenty of literature that I can do this for the rest of my life and it won't be a problem. But I'm curious to see what you would want me to look at next. Anyway, this has been a very odd video. It is a very odd day. It, oh boy. So if you've been here for a while, you know I've got a kid. And no, he's not been on the channel and he's not gonna be on the channel but just because I want him to be able to do his own thing and not worry about somebody or me not having to worry about somebody approaching him that he doesn't know but they know a lot about him uh, the long and the short is this morning as i was getting myself ready to go to work i was supposed to be here two hours ago to record this and then get down the road to get some stuff taken care of for some municipalities whenever it came to networking and uh, figuring out what was going on etc uh, but i got a call from the school telling me my kid puked like on the bus, at the school, in the classroom twice. And when would you please come and pick him up? And it's kind of funny how something like that throws such a wrench and everything. And I'm not complaining at all about him or him like vomiting or not feeling good, that kind of a thing, because everybody goes through that. It's just amazing whenever you've got ADHD and OCD, how much of a monkey wrench that could be. And I think I've done a really good job this morning keeping everything kind of flowing and going the way that it should. Even though I should have been on the road, well, I don't know how long. I think I said like a couple hours, but by the time I get done with this and sending a response in an email, it will be two hours behind schedule for the day. But so I'm going to get down the road. I love your faces. If you're still watching at this point, thank you so much. You are my hero. It does us so much good whenever people watch all the way through to the end. Also, if you want to make fun of us or have somebody jab at us or whatever, feel free. Share the video. And if you're not subscribed, consider it. I mean, if you don't like my face, you can always unsubscribe later. Mm. Anyway, I don't know which one of these videos you'll pick that are coming in, but if you pick that one, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.